Hello and welcome to a new Let's Play for RimWorld. I am the Green Giant and uh, we're going to start midway into a game that um, I I've been absolutely loving RimWorld lately. It's an absolutely awesome game. Um, taking all my inspiration from uh, another fellow YouTuber, uh, Quill18, if you've not... Um, if you've not come across any of his streams before, have a look for him, Quill18. Um, he's got some absolutely brilliant tutorials, all sorts of different games. He's playing uh, Surviving Mars at the moment, which is a real, really uh, interesting base builder out on Mars, of course. Um, but he's also uh, just started a new uh, a new RimWorld Let's Play as well. Um, so I'm using his mod list, although for some reason they've not all loaded up correctly. Uh, so I'm getting some errors. But anyway, it's the same that we had for uh, Averring, uh, that game that we started playing. Uh, I will do a bit more on that in, uh, in the coming weeks. But uh, yeah, I started this new one a few days ago. Um, and it's going quite quite well. It's the first time I've done a mountain base. So as you can see, this is the this is the map here. We've got a couple of ancient dangers. One at the top here. One uh, pretty central on uh, this map. And um, I've made a home in this little mountain here. We're slowly expanding out to the to the uh, east there. Um, and I've done the quill setup for base defences. I've not normally bothered actually uh, using traps before. I'll tell you what, it is extremely effective. Um, the only time it doesn't work is when you get some sneaky um, attacks, some raids where the uh, the guys actually start trying to knock through the wall, which ten has happened to me so far down in the south and over to the east over here. But that was a bit stupid. That didn't... Uh, come to much um, so yeah the just take you through that then so the only entrance into the base is up here in the north um, and my guys can go through the doors so that you know and the animals can go through the doors and that's all hunky-dory the only pathing that uh, raids can take and mad animals as well uh, to get into the base is down the gauntlet of death. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight traps here, uh, which are just so very effective. Quite often on the raids, um, they flee before they even get to this last section because it's just knocked out so many of them. There's one there that needs resetting. I've just put in a, um, a turret on the end here. Um, so if anyone does come... Uh, come down this way they'll get a few shots into them before they make it into the main base uh, and then there's a nice sandbag wall here that I hide my dudes behind right on the west corner so they're not shooting through the wind turbine damaging that um, not the best location really so I might actually expand this out slightly to the west just to give me a nice uh, firing path down here. So we've got plenty of crops going. There's still some here to be, uh, well, the soil still to be tilled uh, and then crops to be planted. Um, we're expanding out over this way as well. This is my latest uh, expansion to get a new room. We've got a nice little internal shooting range here, uh, which is good. The only problem I can foresee with this is sometimes they shoot out this back wall is why I'm uh, in the process of double layering that and uh, it's <sighs> the problem is if someone comes in to repair it and then someone decides to have a bit of a shooty bang session and they're down range there's no sort of way of uh, sort of putting a do not go here not that I've found anyway on the inside because they can report repair the internal wall from the outside although not now I've doubled it um, We've got a nice little setup here for our, our uh, handiwork, res high tech research bench, a little bit of a dumping stockpile. It's my trade area, getting a few more batteries set up. Um, we've got a, a, a really nice guest room here with some decent double beds and some singles. Uh, it's all slate. Um, we've got quite a few uh, uh, peeps here as well. Uh, we do have a couple of lovers which have been married for a little while now in a nice royal bed, although they're currently out on a mission. I'll show you that in a sec. 
loads of home brewing stuff set up we've got a massive stockpile of uh, of whiskey vodka uh, there was a bit of fruit shine but i think we uh, just sold that uh, i've turned that off for now because at the moment we're a little bit critical on food we've just had a potato harvest which is good uh, but we're getting towards the autumn and it's not uh, 365 day uh, growing season here uh, we're just starting to get our um, apparel so our uh, our clothing set up so we've got a few bits of clothing starting to come in which is good uh, really nice social area here pool table chairs bit of poker nice late table um, this area is all grass nice little marriage spot you know surrounded by some roses some internal um, crop growing so we've got dates we've got potatoes pineapples some agave at the back here for making some tequila but you can also eat that and then up top we've got a load more hay grass some wood because we are desert as you can see so we don't have an infinite supply of wood some corn at the top which we've been using to make whiskey heel root there what have I put on here that's more hay grass and that one's going to be some wheat uh, for some uh, corn meal, uh, not corn meal, for some flour, and uh, it's a quick growing crop. In terms of animals, we've got loads of pigs. Um, some pigs randomly wandered into the area and joined our colony, uh, one of which was male, two female. So we get a decent amount of pork from them. Everyone loves a good bit of bit of bacon. Uh, we've got elephants. Elephants are good. Um, they eat a lot of food, which is a problem. Um, that will come to in a tick as well. But each time you slaughter one, uh, you get the elephant tusks, which are worth quite a bit of money. Not quite as much as thrombo horns, um, but they're, um, you know, so you get an extra resource. But they do eat a lot. Now, we are all right, actually, at the moment. So I'm feeding them hay grass and, uh, and corn. Um, we have got a bit of kibble. Um, put the corn there. Corn lasts pretty much for a year outside as long as it's uh, roofed so you don't need to refrigerate it which is good um, but yeah the, the the animals are quite hungry so I've actually just uh, changed it so that we're, we're gonna have fewer animals um, so set the limit a little bit lower so well let's have a look at that uh, where are we on no manager here we go current so thrombos we've not got any of those yet um, so 12 pigs plus uh, seven adults elephants uh, 12 juvenile again plus uh, six adults and we're just starting to get some mufflers we got one at the moment i want them for the wool and the well mainly the milk actually so we can make cheese and pizzas and things like that so there we are so let's go into play we do have some guests let's see where the rest of our colonists are because some are out on a bit of a oh it was it, it was a peace talks mission um so they're they're pretty close in We'll go up to full speed as well. So we'll just let it run for a few moments just to sort of remind myself where we're up to. And I am tempted to turn on a barrel of vodka, although we don't... Well, we've got a bit of storage space. Yeah, let's turn on a barrel of vodka. Let's get that going. Uh, gol, golly, you can go and fill this up. Peace Talks Flounder. What a surprise. That's the second attempt I've done there. But he, we got some experience out of it anyway. So you can come... Oh no, not attack. Oh no, how much kit did I send you out with? Uh, items. Survival meals, we've got some fruit and some vodka. I'll tell you what, let's go and visit. I've not actually done a visit yet. So let's see how that goes. Golly, keep f uh, filling up this so these are the industrial fermenting barrels so these will take 90 uh, potato oh, so in fact we can probably turn another one on then so go on golly now the, the animals will actually fill these but I've got a bit of a a funny restriction on where the animals go yeah so animal area one so they won't actually come into the base uh, golly to put some more in fill it up proper There we go. So we've got we've got a load of vodka being brewed there. Lovely. Yeah, alcohol is a really good way of making tons of money. Uh, I've not had a trade ship yet. I've only just put my comms beacon in. Um, so can you fill up the 
can fuel yes you can super so we're really good on power at the moment just charging up these new batteries so we've got tons of power now which is good because I was getting rolling blackouts before which was annoying which is why quite a few of these benches crematorium and stuff are all turned off yeah, a bit of vape nation don't know if you can hear that hopefully not because that'll be really annoying but my apologies if you can anyway um, so yeah I'm just I'm keen to just sit tight for just uh, a few ticks here just to let things settle down yeah we're doing all right it's quite dark this map which is annoying I've got my laptop brightness turned up all the way um, not that that will affect the stream I don't think but it's still it's still pretty dark on here But yeah, the shooting range is alright. I'd like to put a lamp down here just to light the target up a bit. Not that it's needed, but I suppose this is 50% brightness, which is alright. Oh uh, yeah, maybe not. Combat supplier incoming. That's annoying because all my negotiators... Oh no, we got one sand. Hey, one sand's here again. Uh, and she's old, so she's going to die again like she did in averring. Um Oh, we got combat supply and a combat trade ship as well so well let's do the guys local first and then we will go and so let them come into the base yeah so we haven't we've got bugger all money really I can sell that for a bit of dollar so let's go to the trade ship I want to sell I really need a bulk goods trader so I can sell some of this oh right okay these will take a load of that ah right okay so I'm not too bothered about weapons because we're good on weapons we've got quite a few decent shooters actually we've got a charge rifle we've got a sniper rifle uh, an LMG and a few bolt actions as well um yeah, it'd be nice to get a couple of them and a smoke pot belt as well. In fact, can I get all of this? That's just shy of 10 grand. No, we can't get all of that if we sell all of them. Okay, so what are we short? Well, we're short of a grand. So I could get rid of the scrap mask. Yeah, I'm not too bothered about that. Smoke pot belt would be nice. And the marine helmet. I suppose actually we are making helmets, so and that's only normal. So we'll do that. There we are. Now where did all that land? I didn't see where that landed. Arg Where's the beacon? It's normally reasonably close to the beacon. Sticker. Um. We've got some more guys coming in to trade as well. Now we've got a lot to sell anymore. Oh, it's come down here. Oh, that's annoying. Alright, let's put an urgent haul on that so they don't start deteriorating and then our guys can start suiting up. Ooh. That's weird. Oh, the game just tabbed out for some reason then. And we can haul the silver as well, and then we'll have that in a stockpile so we can use it. And then, one Sam, I want you to go and trade with these new dudes who have just tipped up. What can we get out of them? I'd like to get some more medicine, although we're not too bad. Um, but we can get rid of that we can get rid of that anything that's sort of degraded a little bit and not worth a lot to us now ooh, beret Yushanka not bothered about that 
Yes, yeah, so we'll do that and we'll make a little bit of money. We don't need... Well, I suppose we could get the component. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, cool. So I can clear that off now. Now, the guys have suited up. Who put on the active armour so the shielded coat so Golly's got that on Barnet's got the smoke pot ok well that's alright well hang on what weapon did you have you had the sniper rifle Golly has only got a bolt action oh look yeah I've never had one of those before that's pretty cool so, I probably want to turn on a little bit more of this then, don't I? We've got some sugar here. I'll tell you what, let's let's make some rum. Cane must. There we are. Do until a full barrel's worth. Which we're not going to get out of that. Shark, can you go and prioritise that? Thank you, please. And actually, I want to make... I want to put that near the top. There we go, so you're making some cane must now. Good. Oh, we're not going to get a lot out of that, are we? No, we're only going to get ten. Oh, well, that's annoying. We have got this set up now, though, which is good. So I could possibly start make, making some sugar. So, uh, if I find the right button. So let's till some of this nice fertile soil here. Do about that big. And then do about that. And let's make some sugar cane. Or grow some sugar cane, should I say. Yeah, that sounds reasonable. What are these? These are for corn, for whiskey. Psychic Soothe is nice. So, let's make this rum. There we are. And that should be frozen there. So, yeah, so we'll, we'll just wait out on that. I don't think that should spoil if it's frozen. Although it won't last indefinitely, though. Oh, right, so I need to click trade, don't I? Day. Um So what can we get out of these dudes? Oh, they've got some pearls. Nice to wear. I could get a telescope, that'd be nice. Uh, but gold, I need gold. I like gold. So we'll get the gold, we'll sell the dried fruit. Oh, that didn't make as much money as I hoped. We'll sell the vodka. Oh, and did I not send them with any silver either? Oh, you plonker, Simon. How much gold can I get? Let's just max out the gold, because I need this, because I want to upgrade to luxury beds for pretty much everyone. So we'll do that. That seemed like a decent trade. And then you guys can come home. We do have a bit of gold, so we've got a hundred there. But we keep wasting it. I mean, one sun's quite a good uh, constructor. But, um... I think we failed three times on this bed now. Need slate blocks. Oh, okay. Right, we're going to mine out the last bit of this steel here, and then I can rebuild that wall. I had to build this because I didn't want to get a raid whilst there was a gap in our, our wall. So what do we get? A shoddy bowler hat, cheers, needn't have bothered, and a normal but half-health Yashenka. Yeah, cheers, mate. 
Why is Rusty just wandering out here like a weirdo? Huh. Caravan 1's arrived back, so we got our two uh, lovers back. That's good. Exotic good trader. We haven't got any robots yet, actually. I'm quite happy with this. This was my um, way of uh, getting an ex... Well, cooling, but uh, keeping this protected these cools so people can't bash the way in through there so what we've actually got if i show you the the roof area got a roof over most of it but then there's this thin slither without a roof and the same here as well so we can we can use this for storage for alcohol because it won't deteriorate if it's roofed but i'm not sure it might even not deteriorate if it's not roofed Where did those dudes go? Oh, Shan's just really, really slow. It's weird. So yeah, I'm quite happy with this little setup. Um, Rusty's collapsed. I'll tell you what, we're going to be good, and you go go and rescue. We don't have any non-prison. Oh, will they not put him in a guest bed? He's a guest, isn't he? Right, oh, there we go then. Let's do that. You got a peg leg, some cycloid pico, some cigarillos. We'll rob your silver. Cheers, mate. No, they're not restricted, are they? No, good. We'll put an urgent hole on the silver. Peg leg, I'm less bothered about. Come on, get in the flipping base. Jeebus, you're slow. Why are you so slow? Oh, you old. Frail. Oh, right, okay, you're just knackered, aren't you? Right, so come and do some trading, please, one time. And what can we do here? So we've got the pegs, so we can sell them back the, their own peg leg. That's quite funny, we'll do that. Um... Oh, we got uranium. I didn't realise we had some uranium. Well, I don't really want that just yet, anyway. So we can get rid of that. We've got crafter. Uh, that'd be nice. Kitchen would be nice, but it's only level one. Synthetic heart power arm. Might have to go back and check the needs of my dudes here. So, left eye, so we need a new nose. That's alright. We need, oh yeah, we had a really bad cold snap. So you need two new toes. Oh, that's annoying. Different feet. One sand is frail. It's hardly surprising. And you need a new thumb. So we don't, yeah, so we don't really need anything you've got mate uh, so would a heart help frailty I suppose it probably won't will it um, I guess there's nothing really that we want to buy from you Panthers would be good, actually, because they can do hauling. I could get a single panther. Yeah, why not? Let's do it. It's going to cost me a bit, so can I sell anything to make some money back? I don't want the boom rat. It doesn't give us a lot. I could sell some of these elephants and that would relieve the pressure on our animal feed. That's probably not a bad idea. So let's do one of them. Got a couple of adult females, three, four, four adult females, two males. And 
get rid of another female. That gets us some... Right, so we're now in the black. I think that'll do. So we do now have a panther. Oh, can you not do hauling? Oh, after all that. Oh, flip. Oh well, never mind. Get some more potato in. Golly, it's making cloth. Well, you just come and do some hauling first. Get this filled up. Queue up that one. I wish there was like a hall until full or something like that. I'll have to check the mods. Um, we've still got loads actually. So I'm going to turn all of them on. Golly, come and. Oh, is that one not full? No, not quite. I'm going to fill this because we've got loads of spuds. Let's cue that up. Defence lawyer named Rusty is very grateful for you as rescue and wants to say you're pessimist and fast walker. Um, I don't think we need anyone else. And I didn't check what he was like. Oh, plop. Um, shall we risk it? And then we're going to have to get another bed space set up. Go on, we'll take him. Come on, Rusty. So, Rusty, you are... Pessimus Fast Walker. Incapable of dumb social... Dumb labour, skilled labour, caring. But you aren't going to be a good negotiator. A very good negotiator. Another good shooter, good intellectual. Okay. Well, that's not a that's not a, a disaster. So we'll clear that. So you don't need to sleep unless you want to. I've got my standard. Everyone's set to do a bit of joy at uh, nine p.m. And then let's have a look at your work schedule. So do the standard quill eighteen of ones up to flick. And are you know my top negotiator. Yeah, you are. So right, you're going to be on that as a priority. Three on research. Oh no. Mm, yeah, Stanley's better at that than you are. Better, at, pretty good at managing. And you know my best warden. Oh yeah, because of the social. So okay, let's do. Let's do that. So you're probably now going to go and get some new clothes on. Oh shoot, are you sixty six? Oh, I didn't twig that you were that old. Oh. Heat wave. Right. Okay. So this will be a test now to see whether these four coolers are enough. I have got space for another one. I did originally have two, but it got up to 18 degrees in here. They're set to minus five, but it got up to 18 degrees when um, we had the last heat wave. So we'll see if these are enough. So far, so good, but it's still warming up out there. Major break risk, Rusty. Oh, you were a bad recruit. Oh, I didn't realise you were so old and frail. And with a psychite, Rudrick addiction and asthma and a bad back not oh, flipping heck oh you're going to be a liability aren't you I just know it I'm supposing I was putting the superior medics bandana on particularly my top medic I think it's Kyle actually 
Yeah, it is. What's Kyle got his... Oh, he's got a proper helmet on, that's why. We've got a zit. Thank you. Put that out. Finished hydroponics. Oh, that's what I was going to put up here. Some hydroponics. I remember now. So let's rebuild this wall. So yeah, the animal foods drop right down again. Is that panther being trained? Yes, you've got obedience. I want to urgently haul that and these. Otherwise, me animals are going to starve again. Good on the muffalo. Let's just check. Did I have... Yeah, so we are going to go out and get some more muffalos. We've got the one husky. It'd be nice to get a female. Is that a female? Yeah. Yeah, he's a male. Why are you dudes all sleeping out here when I've got you some lovely guest beds in here? Look. So we're next doing advanced hydroponics. I don't think anything else is queued up. No, it's not. As soon as we've got the advanced hydroponics, we can do something. I'm going to riskily mine that. Make sure we've got a roof over here, which we do. Got a caravan request for bonded leather, but we don't have that. And I'm not going to get it anytime soon. Uh, we have some manhunters, alpha beavers. Oh shoot, there's there's many many of these. So I'll set a hunt on there because they're easier to spot. We'll then restrict everyone to my cleaning area, which is home. But the problem with the home area is that it expands itself out and you're for, you're forever fighting it and clearing it. So what I've done is I've set up this cleaning area which is just the internal. It actually needs expanding there. And I'll cover that off as well. Oh hang on, there was... Come on, OCD kick in now. There we go. So everyone's restricted. Now these alpha beavers might not set off these traps. Which will be a bit of a problem. Don't have any more weapons for you mate. Which is quite annoying. So everyone bar rusty can get up. Everybody get up singing. Oh yeah, no, a few of them set off the traps. That turret's doing a reasonable job at just putting a few shots down so we'll unrestrict all we'll go to we'll unrecruit everyone and we will set an urgent haul on these guys for some extra meat you need finishing off These are all queued up to be deconstructed or salvaged. Advanced hydroponics are done. That's been cleared. So, let's have a look at some garden tools. Advanced hydroponics there. Uh, we will need power in here first. So let's do that. And we'll need to smooth these walls. So we'll set an order up on there. And then, right, so let's get some advanced hydroponics. They use quite a... well, not too much steel. 
Yeah, okay. One, two, three, four. Let's make them rows of five. Now you can actually butt these up and they'll just walk over it, but uh not too bothered about that. Small sun lamp. And we'll plop that there. I'm not too sure what I'm actually gonna grow there yet. I haven't thought that far ahead. I'm not really at the point where we can make glitter world medicine. So there's no point making ambrosia. Are these not full? Oh yeah, come and fill these up, Golly. Loads of meat now, which is good. I've set up a separate stockpile there for meat, just so it gives us a nice visual cue. It's not quite as optimal though. Let's get rid of some of this herbal medicine. There we go. So all of these now are making us some um, undistilled vodka, which we then have to process in the brewing uh, factory or the, the brewery, should I say, um, to create vodka. Can I make a slate one of those? That'd be nice. No, it can only be wood. And we've still got a bit of dead space there, which would be nice. Put something on there. Have we got cooking tools? No, not yet. So that might be the next thing we research. So that comes under advanced cooking, and that's quite cheap to research as well, so we'll queue that up. And then we'll speed our cooking up. We've got, oh, just been hauled for now. There's the shooting range. And the nice little baffles down there. When we get a bit more steel, I'll, um, concrete that just to make it look a bit prettier one colonist idol rusty that was always going to happen because you can't do a lot more oh you can do handling so let's set that to a nine you've got the passion for it it just looks so funny how they're overlaid I've put some wooden uh, slate boxes here for the smaller animals because it was annoying me. I, I just had these as sleep spots, but when the elephants lie on one of these spots, they actually overlap not only the wall, but they come all the way into the kitchen, and it's it just looks a bit odd. And why are they start stockpiling slate chunks on my marriage spot? I'm going to haul that away. That just looks odd. Still smoothing that floor so I can then place some soil and put more grass down. It'd be nice if you could like mow the grass to make it a lawn. I purely got the grass there as a, a buffer for our uh, animal feed. Finished advanced cooking. That's brilliant. That was really quick. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear that bit of the zone there. And then we can put some cooking tools here. We don't have enough steel but we have got that queued up we've got the understill vodka coming in what's Kyle doing? cooking survivor mode, right you cook that last one and then I'm going to get you to distill this vodka and we now have vodka coming in, lovely but we'll pause it there, we'll stick a cut in and uh, we'll come back later on and continue this. So hope you enjoy, as usual, comments below. Um, I'll see you next time.